Nevada's first execution in 12 years is set for next week. The Department of Corrections just released the details. The I team's Vanessa Murphy here now with that story. Vanessa? Brian, this is certainly something you don't see every day, an execution manual. It lists a three-drug combo for the lethal injection, which has never been used in an execution. Convicted killer Scott Dozier gave up his fight to stop his death and said he's ready to die. The three-drug combo includes fentanyl, a powerful synthetic opioid, along with a sedative and a muscle relaxant. The manual also details Dozier's final day. He's allowed final visits and phone calls, and it states how the execution may still be stopped even after Dozier is given the drugs, but the document also states his respiratory and cardiovascular systems will be progressively more compromised. Still, an attempt would be made to save his life. Now, here's an interview with Scott Dozier. He did it earlier this year with the Marshall Project before his planned execution then, which was stopped due to court proceedings. My sister points out it's a lot like a um, terminal disease. You know, if, if he had cancer and told me it was miserable and he wanted to stop treatment, I'm not going to argue with him about it. Um, and they believe me. I mean, my family believes me when I tell them I'd rather be dead than this. Dozier's attorneys had argued in court a previous drug combo the DOC planned on using may cause him to suffer. And today, the ACLU continued to criticize the DOC for a lack of transparency about the execution. Then later in the day, the DOC released more details. Now, there will be witnesses to the execution, including several members of the media. I was notified by a spokeswoman today I will be one of those witnesses. One of the concerns is that this three-drug combo could cause a botched execution. Again, we will be there to find out. Back to you. Thank you, Vanessa.